Day is now five days away. Pauline Lee is getting ideas for food for Valentine's Day. Hi, Pauline. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm spending the morning at Cops in Bellevue. We're starting with appetizers. Susan has a great recipe for some baked brie. Is that what we're making this yes, morning? baked brie. Sounds delicious. Let's get started. Okay. First of all, here's your puff pastry sheets that you want to use. Okay. Okay. You're going to take one out of its wrapper. Now, for this. these, would they work better if they're just thawing, or would you rather what? You would want to have them at room temperature. Okay. They'd be a little bit easier for you to lay flat okay. and to fold on your edges. All right. So what you want to do, you just want to open this like this, take the sheet out in the middle. Lay it flat. Lay it flat. All right. And then the one that we're using today, we're going to be using brie. Okay. Right here. And then what I did was, is what you're going to want to do, mm -hmm. what we did in advance, is we just cut the brie in half. Easy enough. Just like that. Put it on top of your puff pastry. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to take some raspberry jam or any jam that you have at home in the refrigerator is fine. Then you're just going to take a little bit of this. You're going to put it in the center, just like this. Then you're going to spread it. Nice layer inside. Nice layer. And now you can add nuts. It's optional, right? Correct. You can add walnuts or pecans, any kind of chopped nuts that you have. Or if you're allergic, just skip that step. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Absolutely. And you just want to lay this on top. Okay. You also want to cut, if you want to hand me a knife, nice. you might want to cut around the edges. Okay. There you are. Like this. Just so there's not so much dough on top. So otherwise it might not get done. Mm -hmm. Might get kind of soggy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it, right? We're going to wrap it. So we're going to wrap it. Mm -hmm. Let's do that quick. I'll let you wrap that. Oh, okay. I'm wrapping okay. it. So I'm just placing it over like this. Yep. All right. And then you'll tuck the side edges like in. Like that? Yep. Am I good? All right. So Perfect. I'll just keep wrapping it. Yep. And Perfect. then we're placing this in the oven for how long? We're going to place it in the oven for maybe 10 to 12 minutes on 350. Perfect. We have some final products that we want to show you. This is what it looks like at the end after you bake it. Let's chop it open really quick so we can show people what it looks like because I know okay. we're running out of time here. But it's really good. It tastes different. Brie tastes different once Here's you heat the brie. it, right? Yeah. Ooh, mm. that looks good. Hold on a second. It's one of my favorite so things. It's raspberry in the center. <gasps> Do oh, I get to try it? You get to try it. Am I trying it's it? It's nice oh, and boy. warm. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good stuff. You know what? I like brie when it's like hard and cold, but warm brie is actually really good. Yeah, it is. Head to our website. We have the recipe on our website, so just head there. I'm talking entrees coming up next.